Today's doodle, illustrated by Trinidad and Tobago-based artist Nicholas Huggins, celebrates the steel pan, a percussion instrument made of metal, created and influenced by Trinbagonians. It's the only acoustic instrument invented in the 20th century, but has origins dating back to the 1700s. It was a staple during Carnival in Kanbule, the annual harvest festival celebrated in Trinidad, and is still used in contemporary music. On this day in 1951, the Trinidad All Steel Pan Percussion Orchestra, TASPO, performed at the Festival of Britain, introducing the steel pan in a new music genre to the world. When enslaved Africans were brought to Trinidad by colonialists in the 1700s, they brought over their African heritage and traditions of rhythmic drumming with them. When slavery was abolished between 1834 and 1838, Trinidadians joined in on carnival festivities with their drums. However in 1877, government officials banned their drumming because they feared that the drumming would be used to send messages that would inspire rebellion. In protest of this ban, musicians started to pound tuned bamboo tubes on the ground as alternatives to mimic the sound of their drums. These ensembles were called Tambu Bamboo Bands. Another band came in 1930 when rival Tambu Bamboo bands would cause disturbances during carnival and other street festivals. These bands then looked to a new alternative to carry their rhythm, metal objects such as car parts, paint pots, dustbins, biscuit tins and thus the idea of the pan was born. During World War II, carnival was forbidden due to security reasons, and musicians began experimenting with the unique instrument to improve the sound quality. Over time, dents were hammered into the surface of these objects, which played different notes depending on the size position and shape. In 1948, after the war ended, the musicians switched to using the 55-gallon oil drums discarded by the oil refineries. In addition to changing the shape of the drum surface, they found that changing the length of the drum allowed complete scales from bass to soprano. This formed the basis for the modern version of the pan. The steel pan grew and developed into a legitimate instrument through the likes of pioneers and innovators such as Winston Spree Simon, Ellie Minette, Anthony Williams and Bertie Marshall. Many of their innovations and techniques are still used today. The steel pan is now the national instrument of Trinidad and Tobago, and is a source of great pride and true resilience for its citizens. Once played strictly in depressed areas of society, steel pans are now enjoyed in concert calls like Royal Albert Hall, Carnegie Hall, the Kennedy Center and more. Whether in the UK or Japan, Senegal or the States, the steel pen is an internationally recognized instrument that reminds listeners of its island origins. Guest artist Q&A with Nicholas Huggins Today's doodle was illustrated by Trinidad and Tobago-based guest artist Nicholas Huggins, below. He shares his thoughts behind the making of this doodle Q. Why was this topic meaningful to you personally? A. The steel pan is the national instrument of Trinidad and Tobago and was actually invented here. It is an instrument that was born from resistance and rebellion and is truly emblematic of the people of TNT. At the time. African percussion was banned among other things, and the steel pan developed out of that. The fact that such a sweet tune can be extracted from industrial oil drums is something that should be cherished. The steel pan is also closely associated with our national carnival celebrations, and therefore is a great source of national pride. I was also very excited because I love creating art that showcases Trinidad and Tobago and this doodle will allow my country to be showcased on one of the biggest online stages. Did you draw inspiration from anything in particular for this doodle? A. I drew inspiration from the early innovators behind the story of the steel pan. Without them, there is no pan in the landscape of Trinidad and Tobago, and the entire world in fact, would be much different. These early pan men like Winston Spree Simon and Ellie Minette are inspiring for any Trinbagonian. What message do you hope people take away from your doodle? A. I hope that people can take away the sense of the industriousness and creativity of the people of Trinidad and Tobago. We are a small country on the global stage but the fact that we have given the world such a beautiful instrument is something to be held in the highest regard. A special thank you to our guest music and motion design contributors for their collaboration on this doodle Lennox Bugsy Sharp, steel band soloist Teddy N. Charles, composer, musician Mick C. Gobin, motion designer. Like, share and subscribe to Doodle Catalog.